Today, the Hmong people are still being persecuted in Laos because they're still related to the Vietnam War and they still not able to find peace in their lives. So I was kind of fortunate that I get to experience kind of like a Thailand life, a refugee life, and then here in America. So I became a converted Christian. Um, my cousin keep asking me, my cousin Wayne, to church and to the youth activities that they have at the time. And before that, I was just doing my own thing. I, I don't, you know, I want to get away from the church. I didn't want to just go to church because my parents told me so. So I just went with him anyways and one day we went to SoCal Camp Meeting and Pastor um, Jose Rojas was preaching. So he was um, preaching about faith and hope and love. Throughout that whole sermon, I think I was in tears the whole time. So after that, I decided to look back in my life. Right? Um, what happened to me and that's when it kind of kicked me <clears throat> that my life was so bad because I didn't have God in my life you know and <laughs> so I just wanted so since then I've been trying to change my life around and and one of the ways that uh, can keep my faith going is to be active for God. So this ministry that we are doing right now is we're trying to get out there and reach out to the Hmong people and try and let them know about God. He can save and make life easier for, for the Hmong people. Before we can get this kind of message out to the Hmong people, we, um, every week we would have to do a record and we don't have much, but we have a camera, right? And we have um, a pastor that's gonna teach the message. So Wang and I have been helping pastor just, just at least shoot his message and then um, edit the message. As of right now, conference is helping us um, with the money that we got from last year we were able to pay the tv station to give us once a week on a tuesday night from an hour from seven to eight and they would show that um, message on monk tv just um i feel blessed to be involved in this ministry uh even though it's not something that's big right now but it's a start for us. Monk TV is, it's barely came out the last couple of years too, so it hasn't been that long since Monk TV came on. But we're thankful that we were able to do this. And we're getting calls, or pastors getting calls from people, you know, saying that they never heard this kind of message before. You know, even though they've been a Christian for a long time, and they're not, because they're not Seventh-day Adventist, they, they haven't heard this kind of message that you know, God's gonna come soon and how the world is, it's coming to what the Bible is predicting and, and everything is heading towards God's second coming. So we just wanna get that out to the people so they, they can be prepared for it.